Strange Deaths in History, the 20th Century History has shown some strange deaths. Let's look at some of the most unfortunate and bizarre deaths from the 20th century. Window Pane, Pain, 1993 Gary Hoy was a 38-year-old lawyer who liked to perform a stunt showing how strong and safe the window panes were by throwing himself against them. He did this demonstration frequently and bounced harmlessly back every time. On July 9, 1993, on the 24th floor of the Toronto Dominion Center, Hoy was proving to a group of law students how unbreakable the glass windows were. He barged into the windows as usual and bounced back then charged at them a second time. The window didn't shatter, but it popped off the frame and Hoy plunged 300 feet to his death. He was described by the legal firm as one of the best and brightest. Death by Cactus, 1982. In 1982, friends David Grunman and James Joseph Suchachi went wandering around Lake Pleasant, Arizona to do some target practice with their shotguns. They decided to fire at a small cigarro, a type of tall cactus, blasting it into pieces. Needing a bigger challenge, Grunman then targeted a 26-foot tall cigarro, shooting it several times in the trunk. A four-foot arm of the cactus that was weakened by the blast fell on Grunman, crushing him to death. Poison Umbrella 1978. A Bulgarian dissident, Georgi Markov, was assassinated by an umbrella during the Cold War. He had made an enemy of the Bulgarian communist regime, not only by defecting to the West, but also because he criticized the communist government in his writings. In 1978, he was waiting at the bus stop in London where he worked when he felt a pain in his leg. He said that he noticed a man picking up an umbrella off the ground, who then hurried to a taxi across the road. The umbrella had been a specifically designed weapon that shot a ricin-filled pellet into the leg of Markov, which poisoned him. Markov died a few days later. The assassin was connected to the KGB and the Bulgarian secret police. Parachute Suit, 1912 An Austrian-born tailor named Franz Reichelt invented a parachute suit. He invented it to save aviators' lives if their flying machines were about to crash. His silk parachute coat was activated by extending the arms, which would deploy the parachute, allowing the aviator to glide to safety. Tests with dummies a year before had proven inconclusive. In 1912, he finally got permission to demonstrate his invention by jumping off the Eiffel Tower himself. Reichelt went to the first deck of the Eiffel Tower, 187 feet above ground, wearing the parachute suit in front of a giant crowd. He made the jump, and the suit failed, causing him to fall to his death. What death did you find the most strange? Leave a comment below. Subscribe for more history, and don't forget to click the bell button to get a notification of when there is a new episode.